I'ma give it all I got, all I got. Like 23, I stay on top, stay on top. What's happening, everybody? We got a box in for the whip. That's still out of commission. So, let's crack this thing open. Let's see. So, it's gonna be the Dean Speed Customs again. I mean, I already know what it is. First off, actually, um, a little questionable, but that was open prior to my receiving, so, but that was it. And on this end, it is got some, like, uh, I don't know, saran wrap or something, but it should be okay, but it's a little, I don't know, you don't want that to happen, so. Uh, out of here. Um, probably need that. Some uh, bolts. Two bolts. A card. The main component. I guess this is a bracket. Nothing. No sticker. All right, let's see. My legs are sunburnt for anyone who's checking them out. I did try going to the DMV, but it's still been just insane. Went twice, waited, didn't get in. Trying to get tomorrow, so. Hopefully we can get riding this thing, so. Yeah, I guess this is going to be some sort of bracket that the bar goes on. It's a, it's going to be a crash bar, highway bar, you know, some people would just call them highway pegs, but I thought this looked the best because Yamaha sells OEM one, but I don't know, to me it's just too bulky. It just doesn't look like it's well made. Dean Speed makes a lot of really good stuff. It's worth the wait and the money. Neighbors are back at it again, you know, making a whole bunch of noise, but of course you always want to make sure these ends are, I don't even know what you would call it. It's almost like a composite. It's like a, almost like a rubber, but a composite, but it's not metal. So let's say the bike does go down and catches this. It's not going to catch and flip the bike. It's just going to slide which is huge, obviously. Because if it catches and the bike flips, well then it's probably doing more harm than good, so. Didn't get them for highway pegs, not lunge my legs out. I mean, it might be, but main purpose was to, if I ever lay the bike down, to save it, so. I'll throw this on real quick. I guess these bolts are just gonna go through, uh, I guess the small hole, unless you get a big washer or something, but. Put it through the small outer ones, and then I guess that'll be it. Use a little blue Loctite. I'll put that on real quick. All right, so I got it on there. A little bit of Loctite. I just I don't think it mattered which way the bolts went. No washers came with it. 
Uh, put them on the outside there. Uh, it's pretty clean, honestly, so I'm happy with that. I feel like if I took a picture really from a certain angle, you might not even see it, which is also kind of nice. Sticks out. So it would protect the shifter and the brake. But yeah, obviously feels good. It's got the rubber ends, just like the rears. I mean, these are like a composite also, composite. Someone let me know. You can hear the difference. But yeah, that's it. Another thing real quick, my other bike I would have still had and would be still riding, never would have had to go through this whole process of getting another bike if I had a crash bar on my other bike. It literally would have saved everything. I could have fixed stuff myself and been done, so definitely something to consider for all you guys thinking about it. Thank you for checking that one out. I'm going to have... I believe a headlight and pegs coming. I don't know when, hopefully not as long as this took, but yeah, stay tuned. And obviously this is my brand, so check it out. I'm gonna leave the Instagram and the big cartel down below. Just uh, check it out, you know, you don't have to buy anything. Just check the Instagram out, shoot me a like or something, shoot me a message if you got any questions on the comments on here or on Instagram. And yeah, thanks for checking it out. Hopefully I can ride this thing soon. Peace. I'ma give it all I got, all I got. Like 23, I stay on top, stay on top.